What is up guys, it's me Rockadero back in with another video and today we're we'll gonna be doing something different. We're gonna be doing Cuba. Cuba versus Indonesia, which you know Cuba is a part of me, it's uh, where my grandparents are from, so I am half Cuban. And I thought I'd be really cool to compare, you know, population, temperature, and all types of cool stuff about the two countries. Because you guys already even know most about Indonesia since we did it against the United States. So I figured against Cuba, which is another part of me, which would be a really cool thing to do. And also guys, before I get into the video, I would like to mention that um, if you want to help support this channel, I created a Patreon, so it will be linked down below. Feel free to check it out. It's only $3 a month, so that's the minimum I, I was able to do that will allow me to do. Because it was telling me to do minimum of 3 um, it's just three dollars a month just to help support the channel so that way I can get stuff for new videos So I want to start doing Challenges and then challenges are not cheap because you have to get all the materials and that can just add up pretty quickly And those of you guys know that I don't make much on YouTube at all. I make maybe a few cents a video So it's not enough to cover Challenges and stuff like that. So if you guys want to support this channel feel free to click the link down below You guys don't have to don't worry, but I am gonna do um, a Giveaway if I get the 10 patrons I will do a free merch giveaway so you get to choose anything on the website you would like to pick. You know, it could be a hoodie, shirt, phone case, you name it. You can pick one item and I'll send it to you for free. So that's that's a little, you know, a thank you to you guys. Um, yeah, so without any further delay, let's get into the video. So let's start off by the first thing I want to point out. So I thought this was pretty interesting to check out given uh, how big, you know, Cuba is. is the population is only... 11 million and 300 as you guys can see I have it pulled up already it says 11 million 326 thousand 616 people so that is the current population roughly from uh, actually May 31st of 2020 which is pretty recent when they did the uh, collection so now here check this out since we all know the population in Indonesia is you know this year 273 million which is nowhere near Cuba's population meaning Cuba's population is not even close to that number and it's a lot low because you gotta think about it the island is a lot smaller so of course it's gonna be the less population depending because there's some places that you know are very overcrowded but that's just how it is but as you can see that they have a yearly change of 1.0 percent now you guys might not think that that one percent is a lot but that's a lot of people that is a lot of people every year and then once you figure out those numbers it will blow your mind so another thing I want to look up is the size of Cuba As you guys see this is Cuba this is where my uh, my ancestors are from my my uh, grandparents etc um, you can see it's, it's, a, it's a small it's, it's not that small I mean it's a longer than Florida obviously because Florida is right above it which is, this is where I live now but you know, I see you can see the comparison between where I live versus my the country that my family is from. And then um, here, let's check out Indonesia again because last time I got it right, I mean wrong, I mean. So apparently, and I'm terribly sorry. Everything that's highlighted in red is Indonesia. That is a lot of territory. That is a lot of land, and then. Florida's nowhere as big as that. Even if you were to bunch all these lands together. <laughs> you would for sure would be, be Florida 100% now it's not bigger than the United States because the United States is a big, pretty big country given that there's 50 states and um yeah but yeah it's Cuba is not in comparison to Indonesia size wise so that kind of explains why there's 273 million versus 11 million in Cuba more space in Indonesia versus Cuba, just saying. So, you know, able to have more people live there, which would increase the population and the fact that the population is increasing by 1.07%. So that's another mind-blowing thing. So that's another thing to keep out there, guys. And then I wanted to do, because last, last video I didn't do an average temperature. I just did a temperature of, the, you know, in certain day I was recording. So I thought it would be better to do an average temperature on the two countries and then do a comparison. So we're going to do an average temperature in, in, in Cuba. So it's going to give me Fahrenheit and Celsius and Indonesia is only going to give me Celsius. So we'll be able to compare it with Celsius. So the average annual temperature is about 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. During the summer season extremes of heat average 81 degrees Fahrenheit 
or 27.2 degrees Celsius. And relative humidity average 80%. The average temperature in winter is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. So that's pretty interesting. It's pretty warm there. It's a tropical island, as you guys know. It's near Florida. It's also near the equator, which is the hottest point on Earth. So that's another thing you guys have to get, you know, that's another thing you have to have in your mind on why it's so hot where I live and where my family used to live many, many moons ago. Okay, so the average temperature in Indonesia is goes is split by the equator. Uh-huh, so you guys are near the equator as well. Uh, Indonesia has an almost entirely tropical climate with the coastal plains averaging 28 degrees Celsius. The inland and mountain areas averaging 26 degrees Celsius and the higher mountain region 23 degrees Celsius. The average rel relative humidity is quite high and ranges between 70 and 90 percent. So you guys have it pretty hot there at times as well. Because like your Celsius is not that far from Cuba and then again you guys are directly split by the equator in Indonesia versus Cuba is near it and it's not split. So there's, I think, I want to say the equator is near, closer to um, Brazil and all that. A little bit further down, or probably right underneath Cuba, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sorry, I'm not really good at geography like that. But um, it just explains why these two places are extremely hot. And explains where I currently live now is extremely hot. And then I sweat the moment I walk out the door. So that's interesting stuff. So I thought this was pretty cool, interesting stuff to compare the two countries because I did that with the United States and I found it intriguing. Some of you guys liked it too. So I figured to do a part two with, um, you know, where my family's from. And I do, I am mixed. So I have other places I want to compare it to as well. So if you guys want to see that in the next video, comment it down below. Let me know. And um, if you enjoy this video, smash that like button click the link to follow my patreon just to show support you guys don't have to but you know it would help me a lot to plan future and bigger videos for you guys to watch and be entertained by and also guys i got the colored merch in because you know the last one was a misprint it was black and white because it had no um lines or detail in it really but you know i got this in so you know if you guys want to wear one of these you know hit that support button on the uh, patreon link so, you know, follow me on Patreon and uh, or subscribe to me on Patreon or, you know, feel free to stop by, go stop by the store and, you know, pick up a shirt, phone case, hoodie. You know, they're beautiful, man. Look at this detail and, you know, this took a lot of work to, to get done. And I'm sure you guys love it. And I'm good. Just feel free to copy merch. And um, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Join the best family YouTube. Meet Cordial family. If you like interesting videos like this. This is the channel for you. I am telling you guys won't regret it. It's always amazing content, entertaining content, and um, you know, maybe you learn a few things here and there. You know, it's just, uh, it's about everywhere. You know, it's the culture. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.